Hey, what's up guys? It's Ndafara from NKT Studios. In this short video, I'll show you how to set up Sublime Text 3 Live Server or Browser Sync so that you can see your changes in real time. So the first thing that we want to do is just open up Sublime Text. Once Sublime Text is open, just check if you have Package Control installed. You do that by going to Preferences and looking for Package Control option. As you can see here, I don't have a Package Control option, which means that I don't have Package Control installed. So I have to install it. To install Package Control, just press Ctrl Shift P to open the command palette and then type in install, select package control and click on it. When you press it, it will start the installation. So I'm just going to select it to start the installation. When the installation process is complete, it will give you this confirmation box. As you can see, it says package control was successfully installed. So just click on OK here. And if you go to preferences, we now have the option for package control. With the package control installed, we now have to install the browser sync package. So just press Ctrl Shift P and then type in install and then select install package. It will run. You can check the processing on the bottom left corner. Once this pop-up comes, type in browser sync. And then select the last option that is there. And then it will run. You can check the bottom left corner for the processing. With the installation complete, you can see we now have the browser sync option here. Now we just need to restart Sublime to finish the configuration. After you restart Sublime text, just go to browser sync, start file and check if your file is loaded. If your file is loaded, that's fine. Click on launch, it will launch your default browser. As you can see, it has launched my default browser with the contents of this HTML file. Let me just minimize this so that you can see them side by side. So for example, if I make changes here, let me just change the background to orange color should be vb00 and then when i save the changes will be persisted to the other side you can also see here it gives you a confirmation that it's connected to browser sync so let me make another change and then you can see that so i'm just going to add three here and then save which is control s and then you can see i now have a three here so basically after you make changes and save those changes will be shown in the browser automatically that's all about Sublime Text Live Server and Browser Sync. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.